In an earlier video, we explored a basic task list, which you should have reviewed prior to this video. SharePoint also has a project task list, which has the same structure and views found in the task list and expands on them to provide some basic project planning aspects that we will focus on in this video. Since the project task list is used to assign and manage tasks for a specific project, the training department chose to use one to track the development of a new course. So I'll navigate to training. Then on the left, I'll click on project tasks. The project task list contains most of the same views of tasks as a task list with one additional view you see here with a Gantt chart called project tasks. The Gantt chart presents a graphical representation of the tasks in the list. This is very useful to see what the status is and progress is for each task as well as the overall project. The task items are displayed on the left in a datasheet format, allowing for quick editing of the individual task properties. To expose more of the columns, you can put your mouse over the divider bar and click and drag it to pull it over to the right. Values can be changed directly in the cell by selecting the cell, typing in a new value. For columns that provide drop-down choices, you can click in the cell, it provides the drop-down list where you can select a different value. Adjacent to each task on the right is a bar in the Gantt chart. The bar represents the start and end date of a task. The gray shaded area on the bar represents the percent complete. So if half the bar is shaded, then approximately 50% of the task is complete. If the task item is a milestone, such as an approval date or delivery date, it is represented by a diamond on the chart. The connector arrows represent predecessor tasks for a task. Predecessor tasks are described in the task list tutorial. There's one more task to add to this project, which is to deliver a dry run of the course. So I'll click on New Item. So I've entered the title. The predecessor task would be to develop the course material. A normal priority, it's not started yet. The projected date for the dry run of the course is July 18th. So I'll enter that in both the start and due date. And then I'll choose Save. You can see the task I've entered on the left, and to find that on the right, I just need to scroll over a little bit here. And it's represented by a diamond because it's a single date event, a milestone in this project. If you don't see a project task list on your site, that's because project task lists are not included as part of a standard team site. It will need to be created by a site owner or administrator.